Hey guys, Jason with Half Thunder Garage, and we are here in front of this really cool Bronco first generation. And it's kind of the end of the day at the shop. It's kind of a better time for us to shoot some videos. Not so many people here, because normally there's like 25 people just working around the shop. It's super busy. And so um, it's a little bit quieter. And so we wanted to discuss this uh, Bronco a little bit. So we've made a few modifications to it. And so we're kind of walking around and talk about it. You may have seen this out at SEMA and it was out in the area where they're doing all the drifting and, and riding and Ford had a little booth out there. And this was showing off the Kinsler chassis and also this Dennis Carpenter uh, brand new stamped uh, Bronco shell. So pretty cool setup. Uh, this is a brand new everything, so it'll probably have a 2018, 19, 20, whatever it is when he registers this thing uh, title, but at the end of the day, it's still a really cool Bronco. So some of the details, if you'll take a look, we'll slide some clips in here of what these look like before. If you notice this little bumper right here, so it's been slightly modified just a little bit so they don't look like bat wings they normally stick out to here and it's all cut and it looks kind of weird um, jack here has done a really good job of just kind of contouring these so that they look a little bit nicer looking if you will um, when we first put these on and i like stock things but when we first put these on i was like oh man this looks terrible you know it just didn't quite fit what we're trying to accomplish we didn't want to go these big modern you know looking we want to still keep the bronco pretty classic looking but so we tightened it up made it a little bit cooler and uh turned out great another little thing we've done if you notice they normally come with all these like little holes in the hood and when you're trying to paint something these little openings are really hard to paint and so it became necessary for us to kind of close those in so that when we get ready to paint this hood we'll get a little bit better product another thing we've done is that we've actually taken this uh, new latch assembly here and then down here we've also installed this and you can see right here inside this little tube we actually have a cable that goes all the way to the inside and there's a little handle to actually open the hood so rather than coming over here and putting your hands in here trying to open this up and have the condenser and everything in the way we decided to go this route it turned out just like we'd hoped and works perfect and so we're pretty happy about it then if you notice inside here, we've talked about this before, uh, we've kind of finished. We've got, uh, we've raised this up, we've put a new panel in it, we beaded it just like factory on the Polmax, and then we've got a little bit of a cover there that will cover up any plumbing, extra wiring that's gonna be hidden in here. Other than that, that's all you're gonna see. You're gonna see the little hydro boost system, the motor sitting there, uh, a little cover here for the radiator, overflow, but that's it. There's nothing else you're gonna see other than the battery sitting right here. You won't see all your little AC lines going over there. And hopefully it's just a little bit cleaner, simpler look. So then let's come over here and take a look. We've got a pattern built and designed. We're gonna do flush mount glass on the top. And then we've also got inside the top, we've actually welded some nuts into the body where we just gotta bolt these down and you don't have to try to get behind the upholstery and apparently that's a little bit of a problem. Uh, keep in mind, this is the first Bronco we've actually really gotten heavily involved in. We've had a couple that we've messed with, but not as much as we have on this. And so we're trying to put the fat fender spin on it and kind of make it something that's, that's cool. So another thing we did, we've put some new 15 to 17 Mustang seats in here, which required us to lower this down. If you take a look at that, uh, these typically, are up about about right here. They come out and down. And so what we did is we've lowered them down. We've had to make all the adjustments in the body. We've kind of angled this here so that you don't actually, you know, hit this little edge when you're trying to get in. And then we've got these to where it sits really quite nicely and comfortable. We've got the Coyote pedal installed in there. And then we adapted a low car brake pedal pad in there so that it ties in a little bit better. We've made some adjustments for the Atlas transfer case and rounded that in so when we go to carpet, that as well. Another thing we've we worked on, we 3D printed this little part here, and then this will be all made out of aluminum, and then we've gone with the rectangular um, vents. Now you notice that this is where the gauges would normally be, they're gone, and it's been moved over into the center. Uh, I hate driving a Bronco, and then you're, you can't ever see anything, and you're just like, ah. So we moved it to the center, so not only can a driver see it a little bit better, but also uh, passengers can kind of see it a little bit easier too. So we've kind of laid the dash out perfectly. We've got our own billet bezel that we've designed for that 
that will match the profile of the vents and so it's gonna look really cool when it's done. We've added this little touch here where you just push that, kicks open, install your fuel. Um, we've got this bumper in the back which has been contoured as well. The same process as we did the front. And again, just a nice subtle little touches. And then lastly, uh, if you were able to see, we, well, it looks like we may have taken them out, but we do have the amp running boards that will, uh, the steps that will pop out. So it makes it a little bit easier to get in there about three feet. This side has been cut down as well. And in order to get the seats in here, we've had to cut this, angle this. We beaded that, reinforced it. So we'd have just a little bit, you know, nicer fit and finish. Of course, this is all gonna get a bed liner in here. This will get, you know, carpet, upholstery, and everything will look nice. You can see where the gauges go right here. And then you see you have the two other vents, the AC controls, and we actually got four vents into the dash. Anyway, so pretty, pretty subtle modifications. We didn't really wanna go too, too crazy. We do have power windows. Um, and uh, you can see the Dennis Carpenter Bronco body and stuff that they're, ma they're making officially licensed by Ford. And I think the Kinsler chassis is as well officially licensed. So very cool Bronco. We're hoping to move this at the end of this week. We're ready to start taking some stuff off. Uh, at SEMA, they sprayed like a silver base coat over an unprepped body. So we actually got to take this and have all this stripped off and we'll put a 2K powder coated type um, primer, epoxy primer over this, and then we'll get this over to the body shop and then we'll start getting this perfectly straight, all the gaps nice and good, and then we'll get this painted. Now we got a cool color we're gonna paint on this thing and it's been a really difficult color for me to uh, hone and dial in, but pretty soon we'll, we'll have it all worked out. So anyway, so that is kind of where we're at with it. Stay tuned, follow this thing. Uh, we're hoping, you know, possibly we can find a home for it and take it back to SEMA finished. Uh, that'd be kind of cool, but We've got a super awesome rad customer that uh, uh, really is going to end up with a super um, very cool looking Bronco, very restrained, but have all the bells and whistles that you could possibly want and still look pretty factory. And so that's kind of our style is uh, nothing too crazy, have things look factory, but all the little subtle touches, you know, if you can find them, uh, there's a lot of cool things, even just, you know, welding up these little cracks right here on the hoods welding in those little corners right there, just making sure everything's gonna look nice and clean when it's painted. So anyways, follow us along. You wanna watch this Bronco build and uh, see the details on it come together and uh, uh, stay tuned for the finished product, obviously coming in hopefully another three months we'll be done with this thing. So make sure you comment if you have any questions in the, you know, the, the comment section below and make sure you're following us on our YouTube channel. Thanks.